Let's do this. How about we flip a coin? Huh? You call it in the air, I'll flip it. Yeah. For either 12 or 12. You lost last time. Though. I did lose last time. You lost big last time. I did lose big last time. Big. I did. I did. I did. When we, so 12,000. 12,000. If you win, 12,3. If I win, 12,3. You. Yeah. All right, let's do it. Hey guys, what's going on? Just checking in here with our weekly recap. Before we jump into that, I wanted to talk to you about the new paddock releases that came out yesterday. These guys are absolutely showstoppers and definitely noteworthy and something that everyone should be talking about. And everyone, in my opinion, is talking about it. So to dive in, I wanna talk about the two grand complications that were just dropped. The first piece is going to be a 6300G, which I'm going to pop up here on the screen. Now, this is a Sky Moon Turbion. If you guys are not familiar with the Sky Moon Turbion and paddock watchmaking, absolutely stunning of a watch. Talking about a hand-built watch that is extremely complicated. This is top tier, upper echelon, as difficult as it gets for watchmaking. This piece also features Paddock's amazing gem setting, which you guys probably know, absolutely phenomenal. We'll pop up a picture here. You guys can let us know what you think down below. And I'm gonna touch base with you about the piece in general. Now, it's a very interesting piece in that it is a Sky Moon Turb, and this is traditionally a hand engraved watch, which a lot of people aspire to get and always dream about picking up from Paddock as far as paddock collecting goes. This piece with the gem sets on it, I think it's a little bit more of a polarizing market. I'm gonna be very interested to see who's going to be picking up this piece. In my humble opinion, I think this piece is gonna be doing phenomenally well in Asian markets and probably the Middle East, but I would like to see who's gonna be picking it up here local in the US. If you guys have any ideas, drop them down below. Who do you think is gonna be the first one that's wearing this piece uh, in the market? I'm really excited to see who's gonna be picking it up as far as difficulty of getting this piece we're talking about like no one absolutely no one's going to be getting this piece but there's going to be those big boys that are going to be picking it up i'm really excited to see who's wearing it sky moon turbion we will drop a, a link down below to show you guys how this watch is actually made definitely spend some time and look into it because it is absolutely out of control i myself have spent many 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 hours watching this watch being put together and it absolutely blows my mind i can't imagine what it's like to now set gems on it Truly a stunner, but moving along to the main attraction, we're gonna talk about the other 6300401G, which is going to be very similar. However, it is going to feature sapphires on it. So to me, the sapphires really brought this watch to life. I absolutely love how it looks in comparison with the lugs being baguettes and then sapphires around the center of the bezel. Double rows of sapphires, absolutely stunner of a piece. We'll pop up a picture here. You can let us know what you guys think about the watch in general. If you had to pick one and money was not an object, which one would you guys pick? I think that most people are gonna be leaning towards the Sapphire, but I am interested to see. And like I said, guys, whoever you think is gonna be wearing this piece first, drop them down below who you think you're gonna see it on wrist and give me your honest opinions about the watch in general. I'm absolutely impressed. I'm absolutely in love and I think Paddock did a phenomenal job with these watches as they always do for their high-end watchmaking. What's up, TBT gang? So I'm just checking in. Um, it is Wednesday. Today is November 16th. And wanted to give you a quick update on the gold market. So gold has actually been insane over the past month. It has been jumping up and down. We have seen fluctuations from 5 to 10% in a day, which is insane. Like even a jump of 1% in a day in gold is a lot. Um, so seeing it move five, ten percent in one month has been kind of crazy, of course, with everything that's going on in the market, a lot of speculation, a lot of volatility. So today, gold price is going to be seventeen seventy per ounce, um, and that is going to be for today, Wednesday, November sixteenth. So just wanted to give you a quick update. Every week, we'll check in with you, give you an update as to the where gold price is at, the change in the market, what's been happening, and what we've been seeing here at TPT. So just thought it'd be interesting to share that with you folks. Also. Um, just about five minutes ago, sold a 116506A, which is a platinum ice blue Daytona with the baguette dial. So really excited for my customer to come in here and pick it up. He actually reached out to me this morning. We happened to have it in stock. And so I was really excited to get him set up with that. Otherwise, hope you guys are having a great day. Hope you show some love on the video. Anything that you see that you want to see more of or that you want some change, feel free to just drop in the comments below and we look forward to hearing from you. Thanks again. What's up, TPT gang? Happy Wednesday. Thank you for tuning in. Just to let you know, our Instagram is currently down. 
so I'll pop up here a few other ways to contact us. But enough about that, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and enjoy this week's video. So these are the different bracelets that we have. In terms of the diamond tennis, you'd be primarily looking at these right here. Okay. There's any that catch your eye. I would say probably one of these three. This is going to be 50 pointers, uh, seven inches. It's about uh, 15 carats worth of diamonds. This one is gonna be 25 pointers. It's also seven inches. You're looking at about 11 and a half carats of diamonds. And actually you have a good eye. These are gonna be the exact same. Okay. So the same exact same bracelet, exactly. yeah, same thing. So you can just take a look at that one. So you said this is 25 pointers. 25 pointers, correct. So each stone is a quarter carat. Let me help you put it on. Cool. What do you think? Yeah, yeah, I mean, I think it matches yeah, well with this. Yeah. For yeah. sure, and the watch as well. Yeah. Yeah, it looks a little big. I think it's about a half inch too big. So there's two things that we can do here. One, I can make you a custom bracelet that's six and a half inches with 25 pointers will be the exact same thing. Or two, actually what we can do that's really popular as well is we can repurpose the stones. So what that means is I can take like two of these stones out, because right, half an inch will probably be three stones. Mm -hmm. So I can take two of them out and make like a pair of like white gold studs for you that you can give as like a gift. So just earrings. Or yeah, we can repurpose the stones to make like earrings, like studs, like white gold studs. Okay. So you say you would, there'd be three diamonds would come out. Three diamonds would come out. Two of them would be used for uh, studs and then one diamond I would save for you and keep it, you know, just if you ever want to add one stone, remove another one, you know, you just always have flexibility there as well. And what would that look like in terms of price? Like what is the price on this? So this bracelet is 11.5. Um, and to repurpose the stones, they're about $175 a piece. So it costs you about $350. Um, but for, I'd be happy to I'd be happy to do it for you in that 11.5 price. So do 11.5 for the bracelet and then the repurpose the stones will be on me. I got you. I'll do it for you. No problem. Okay. So it'd be 11,000 500 plus tax, comes out to 12,305. <coughs> All right, I'll tell you what. Um, good customer, good customer. You are, a very good customer. Let's do this, how about we flip a coin? You call it in the air, I'll flip it for either 12 or 12. You lost last time. Though. I did lose last time. You lost big last time. I did lose big last time. Big. I did. did. 12,000. If you win, 12, 3. If I win, 12, 3. Yeah. All right, let's do it. Let's see. I think I have a coin on me, actually. So it's just a quarter heads or tails, right? You call it in the air. <laughs> tails. Tails, goddamn it, I lost again. Two for two is crazy. No way. <laughs> two for two? How do I keep losing? Two for two? <laughs> two for two? No way. That's sick. Congrats. Yeah, that is. So far. So, seven days, like basically a week. Yeah, like a week. Okay. On Monday, I have it sent out. Stones will get removed out Tuesday. Yeah, yeah. About, about a week. Seven okay. to 10 And then days. the other thing is a few days in LA, so the, the necklace, six. the repair. That'll have ready for you on Tuesday. Okay. Yeah. Oh, on Tuesday, okay. Yeah, literally one day I need on that. Okay. All right, cool. So we'll put this away for you. Get like that set up. Thanks okay. again, brother. Yeah. Appreciate you. Yeah, no worries. Um, yeah, and then let me get you set up with the invoice right now as well. Yeah. Yo, what you do? Yeah. I mean, there are two different price points. $20,000 difference. Oh, really? Yeah, that's it. Well, I, mean, I don't know why I thought that one was a quarter. No, no, I'm talking about like, forget that this is a special edition in the kite. I'm just talking about rose gold. Like I said, dating, like you can use it with the pool. Or so, so check this out. You know, the cruise. I, I, this, honestly, is a badass piece. Yeah. No, like, like 30 in the world and yeah, watch. like very, very hot. And these are not counted? Um, the, the 11s? What time Say no, that's not numbered. But to me, if you're going rose and you like this, like I do that all day because there's 30. You know, a rose, a rose 11 is like one of the most common returns I mean, that's yeah. that people rock, in my opinion. Exactly. That's, that's nice. I say two lengths. Look, I like mine feeling a little bit loose. No, I like it. Oh, no, that's very loose. Bottom of your head. Oh. Yeah. Two lengths, right? I, like I hate when they move. 
No, I need, it, it has to have a little breathing room for me, bro. No, I breathe. Like you see, <laughs> I watch good. I like it tight. Hey, hey, what's up with you? <laughs> And then the rose gold, I would want three days to try to find a good price. Yeah, yeah, no. Don't Unless you it. want the kite and we can work out like a crazy deal for the kite. Shit. If you like the kite. The price is nice. I'll take it. We'll work on the price. Yeah. Or you can have a yours with you at all times. True. Damn, bro. When you put it like that, that's crazy to think about it. It's a yours in your hand. Yeah, perfect. You're on your trip. You need a quick quarter. Boom. Bust it out. Sean, perfect. It's perfect? Okay, yeah. thank you. Wow, you took out the links that fast? Yeah. Damn. We paid two seventy five for that watch. Uh, we'll sell it for two thirty five. And there's only one other one right now for sale, and the guy has it in Florida, he's asking two fifty. Here you are, my brother. Mm -hmm. Um, down here is okay. Here we'll just move this stuff over so you have some space. Well, congratulations. Thank you, bro. You deserve it, bro. Good shit. Thank you so much. My man, going plain Jane on him. Had to do it to him. Thank you, bro. That's what's up. Now you're ready to go. Sure. I got my bus down back. <laughs> Wear this out. It's next to you guys at Novico. No, no, no. Okay. <laughs>now to talk to you guys about what was going on in the office no we did not sell any sky moon turbs or any huge complications from paddock or one of the new pieces sorry if i got you guys excited with that hopefully we will have a chance to do that and i would love to work with the client on one of these watches but these guys haven't even hit the market yet so we will talk about a few pieces that we did pick up this week and we were moving around in the office so to jump right into it we actually had a very eventful week we sold quite a few rms so to break them down we sold an 1103 rose gold and titanium to a customer in Dubai. We sold an RM11 ivory to a, a customer in the US. This was a newly acquired customer and friend of ours. We were really excited to have his business and really appreciate that he reached out, gave us a shot and we can make things work. Everything went absolutely flawless with the deal. We're gonna be getting the watch tomorrow. We will definitely give you a breakdown of the ivory because I don't think we featured an ivory on the channel. It is a little bit of an interesting watch because it is an RM11 and it is full rose gold. That's something that you traditionally do not see. The ivory is a little bit more of a rare watch compared to a standard RM11 rose gold and titanium. And it's one of my favorite pickups from RM. I love the weight. I love the rose gold sides. I love the look of the watch. You can really have fun with some really neutral color bands. I love the way the chocolate band looks on it or the off-white band or even a white or black band. It's an absolute stunner. So we'll show you that when that guy comes in. We also sold two white ceramic perpetuals, which we haven't sold this watch in a little bit now. And we actually had two customers call in and pick these guys up. I flew out to LA to meet one of the customers for the perpetual, which is something that we traditionally don't do, but it was an amazing experience to go out there and meet with them and show them the watch. And then we had another local client here in Florida actually see that we had that white ceramic perpetual. He decided to pick one up himself. Amazing piece from AP. And honestly, I think that the way that the perpetual market is right now for AP, they have gone down quite significantly. And a lot of them are in amazing buy price ranges at the moment. So if you are looking for ceramic, feel free to reach out, ask us about the pricing. Even the black ceramic open work perpetual is in a really, really strong price point in my opinion today comparatively to where it was before and overall just ceramic watchmaking in general is quite difficult to do so really cool pieces let us know if you're interested in one we also worked on a 6701 rose gold and titanium pair so we bought from a customer 6701 titanium and a 6701 rose gold he had both of them the rose gold we sold off to a wholesaler and the titanium we actually are going to be going to be selling to a retail customer who is from florida so that just goes to show you know that uh, we are still buying really great pieces from customers people are constantly hitting us up and offering us stuff and that brings us to today so we actually had a customer walk in this morning and he sold us two stunners the first piece that we picked up is this rm55 bubble watson in white with the white vented new style strap which i absolutely love funny enough we got it about 30 minutes ago and we have a customer coming down at five o'clock to look at it i think he's going to be picking it up he's been looking for this piece for a while we got it at a great price and i think he's going to be very happy to see it he's a little bit indecisive right now he's deciding between 3502 red or a bubba he's had a bubba before but i think he's probably going to end up going with this guy we'll have to see what happens and we'll show you guys that when he comes in Another piece that we just picked up, which we have also not had in a while, is an 1103 in full rose gold. So 
Guys, this was the flagship model from RM, the 1103, now replaced by the 6501 slash 7201, uh, debatably. This is one of my favorite pieces from RM. 1103, just can't go wrong with it. When you see this watch on someone's wrist, you immediately know it's a Richard Meal. And when you see the rose gold sides, that's when you really know what's up because this has a big price difference from the 1103 rose gold titanium. These guys, as of the moment, are both in stock. If you are interested in them, hit us up down below, message us on Instagram, give us a call at the office, and we'd be happy to hear from you. Thank you guys so much. That's a little bit of what was going on in the office. We'll check back in when something else happens. What I'm doing now is I'm actually making some more TPT pendants. Neil reached out and asked me to make some more. I think he wants to make some more gifts just to have some available as we're continuing to grow the team. Of course, this is a staple for us here at TPT. So what you can see here, I just started working on the first one. I'm going to remake it with another one of our manufacturers that we have. And so basically I wanna get the specs of the old one. It's gonna be 1.3 by 1.1. 1.8 inch total with including the DIA bale, which means is the bale including the full pendant. We know that it's 14 karat white gold. What I'm gonna do next is I'm actually gonna take it and put it on the scale so I can get the total weight and that's what's gonna go here. And then I'm also going to uh, count the number of stones that are on the pendant. Therefore, I can see exactly what's the total weight on there and I can make an exact duplicate. So we're gonna be working on that today. As to catch you folks up, it's been a really crazy couple of weeks. Sorry, I haven't checked in too much. Actually, last week, I had a nice couple of sales, sold a few custom pendants, uh, AP Rose Gold Skeleton, a couple of uh, other APs and some other Rolexes. So it's been a really crazy couple of weeks. If there's anything that I can help you with in terms of Christmas orders as you folks are getting ready for the holidays, please let me know now because it does take a few weeks to get orders taken care of, get them shipped out to you, make sure everything is done properly, boxes, right, et cetera. That all takes time. Of course, we can scramble last minute things together, but prefer not. So reach out to me directly at Diamonds Philippe. Happy to help you out on any of your holiday needs and I look forward to working with you. Thank you so much. So I have a couple of different Cubans. I know you want to do something that was like 24 inch. So I'll bring some stuff out for you yeah. to take a look at um, and then you can go from there. But then what we'll do is we'll put this video in like the couple of days before your dad's yeah. birthday. So that way, you know, when you see him, you can just like watch the video and I think that'd be crazy. So yeah, you'd be fucking freaking out. Yeah. Cool. Let me go get some stuff. I'll be back. This is crazy. My client hit me up. And he was just like, yo, I want to do something special for my dad's 50th birthday. He's always wanted a Cuban. So he actually has been going back and forth on trying to find different Cubans. And I'm crazy excited to set him up. I also really excited to see the reaction because that's prices. You know, that's what we do while we do. We come in here, we make things happen. And I'm really excited to show you what that looks like. That's why we do what we do. Uh, <laughs> So I'm gonna pick out a couple of things that I think that his dad might like right now. I picked out a couple of things for you. I know you said yellow and rose potentially, right? Yeah. No white. Nah, because I think he's back and forth between rose and yellow. All right, so let me show you a couple of different options here. Cool option. So here's going to be your rose options here. The difference is you have uh, it's called Infinity Link or Gucci Links. So that's gonna be added to the actual um, setting style or the actual necklace itself. This is gonna be on the rose side, here on the yellow boat side. We have 22 inch and then we have 24 inch. You said you needed 24 inch, right? Yeah, he's, he's big, he's like 6'2", 280, so I feel like a 24 would be. What do you think about this one right here? I like that too, because he likes, he doesn't, I don't think he would like that, what's going on with there. I feel like yellow would be the option, dude. Dude, for sure, I feel like the 24 and this yellow would be sick. All right, so come check this out. Let's take it into the main office. I wanna show you what it looks like right in front of the mirror. And then of course, so you can see it in the proper lighting as well. 
And he's always talking about a big Cuban or a big Rolex or something like that, a diamond Rolex. And I was talking to him, I spitballed me and him. We're talking about it. I was like, this is months and months ago. I was like, let me just go. I need to make something, bro. And I want to get ahead of the game. And we were talking and talking. We seen some 22s, but he's about his size. He's like 6'2", 280. Yeah. So I was like, he can go 22. Yeah, he's 24. Yeah, that's why I was like, 24. Dude, this was so hard to find. And then the hurricane came. I mean, we live in the area, it got hit really bad, so it kind of, we kind of lost contact with that, and I, he hit me back up randomly, and we were like, he sent me this, I was like, dude, what's your wire? Like, I, want, I want that one, bro, like, that's the one I want. That's a really, We've been really, really working really on this for yeah, maybe two, three months. Dude, he's gonna freak, bro. No, no. Wow. Yo. Dude, this is crazy. Yo. I can't believe you're about to gift that to him. Like he's gonna himself, bro. He's gonna. He's, <laughs> well, that's a good thing is yeah, that you can. Oh, you'll always be able to run that. Dude, that's insane. Dude, it looks. That's actually. It's one of those things that looks better in person than on pictures and things like that. Yeah. Dude, pictures never do justice on diamonds. She had it. Yeah. Look at it. Dude, that's insane, dude. I can't wait to see. Like his reaction for me is dude. gonna be like everything. He is I know. That's what he is not imagining it. Like one bit. I honestly, I hit you up so early because I was like. What if it's like some some reason I can't find it? And dude, honestly, I'm, I'm gonna no, tell you this. No, it's good. It's good that you hit me up early because I'll tell you, all of our manufacturers, all of our suppliers, everyone that we've been working with is yeah. literally like 22 inches are cut off. They don't. Dude, make that's I noticed that, bro. Because yeah. to be honest with you, bro, I hit up a few different people. I hated it, bro. Like, everyone was, dude, so like, they're all in Miami, and I was like, they were, I was looking at the reviews. They're like, yeah, this one's 200 grams. Someone bought a 200 gram chain and they measured it, it as like 150. Like they're scamming people, and I was no, like, no, dude, no. your customer service. Made it for me, bro. Thank you so much. It's crazy. And like you know, you're always safe because if like for some reason you ever want to, you don't want to sell it back or trade it. Yeah. I'm always, I'm always. Yeah, I'm good, bro. So you know what I mean. Like, that's the yeah. other thing with us versus a lot of other people. Like someone will sell you that Cuban, they'll bang you out for it, and then you'll walk back into the store and like they'll go hide in the back. Dude, you know, like shot. me, like yeah. I'll come <laughs> open the door for you and say what's up. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I go to bed at night, like sleeping, knowing that like. You gotta take him care of him. Like, that, yeah, that's like, what he I'm likes about. this diamond set. He was showing me before. He's like, "Oh, should I go buy this one? Should I go buy this one?" I'm like, "So I kind of knew what Bro, you this want." Is I like how the, how the links are set on this and the diamonds are set on this compared to like that one right there. Yeah, how it kind of matches the Cuban look. Exactly. So it's just a different, it's just a different style setting. Yeah. That's all it is. It's gonna be Miami set, Miami Cuban style setting yeah, versus yeah. Uh, New York. Style that's what setting. I noticed. He liked the Miami set style. Yeah. yeah. You can always tell by the lock too. If the lock is curved or if it's straight, yeah. you can tell the difference of the style of the setting. Dude, that's insane. That, that's <laughs> crazy. That's I can't crazy, believe we made it happen. Dude, we were having such trouble finding a 24. We were like, I could not find add. a 24 inch for the lock. I found it's a 24 inch. Really difficult to find actually. But the yeah. 24 inch that I found was like 450 grams ridiculous. Yeah, that's it it crazy, huge. bro. That was the only 24 inch I found in yellow. It took yeah. it forever. I was like, right, I, I honestly started thinking. I was like. Why don't I just put make Add. it custom? Yeah, dude, that's yeah. a weird thing about it. They were like, buy the, and then they were like, buy a 20 inch and then take a bracelet and remove a bracelet. And I'm like, no, I'm not doing any of that. Like, I just want to do it the right way the first time. Dude, that's crazy how that hits in the light, dude. Yeah. Just He's wait to freak, dude. He's wait to go outside, yeah. He's going to literally freak out. Because we always get him like tools and things like that, like small stuff. And this is gonna open it. It'll be really it. funny, bro, is if you go to like Walmart and you buy like a, what, like a drill or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you put it in there and he's gonna open it and see the chains. Really yeah, yeah. What's going on? Like, dude, we're talking. Crazy. He watches a lot of YouTube, dude. He'll just sit at his computer in the morning or at night. So I'm like, dude, we get it on the YouTube. That's because I think he likes that stuff. He likes that stuff almost more than the gifts itself, like seeing the video. Because it's like, yo, here's this and then here's this crazy video. He just freaks out about videos. Well, give him a shout out, bro. Give him a shout out. Yeah. Say, say what's up to your yeah, dad. Yeah, what's going on? Dad, bro, I don't know if you're expecting this. Kind of out of left field. I know we've been arguing a little bit, but hopefully this makes up for it. Looks amazing. Now, now uh, you might have to come back in a couple months and, and match them. Because well, that would your pops would be, would be crazy. What were we even talking about, dude? Because I was trying to keep this to myself. I wasn't trying to tell my mom. I wasn't trying to tell my brother. I was just trying to come out of left field of that out of nowhere. My mom was like, we work, we all have a family business. I'm like, I need, I need Friday off. Mark my words, bro. I'm coming back to buy one of these. That's crazy. We'll be here for you. We'll have the clip ready when you come back. Dude, I'm being serious. So this is also really crazy. This is what's called a white gold meteorite Daytona. And so Rolex actually bought a like land in Australia and they harvest meteorite yeah. from that land. So whenever a meteorite strikes, they basically take the meteorite from that land and, and they use it to make dials. Yeah. It's in that. 
And when that's crazy. when the meteorite is gone, then like when that like land is gone, then they won't, won't be able to make them anymore. They'll be discontinued. Dude, I feel like that'd almost be like priceless eventually. Eventually, yes. That's that's what all of our thinking is, you know. But yeah. who knows? This is chocolate root beer. Dude, these are so sick. Full gold or rose. Dude, you might make me leave one here. I fucking one of these. <laughs> dude, I love that, dude. That's you sick. Get the water information. <laughs> you imagine? When you showed me that Richard, dude, I, I think those are so fucking sick. I'll show you some Richards. Dude, hell yeah. That's just something so- I didn't know what they were, dude. Honestly, I'm like, what the fuck is- Like, sometimes watches, dude, you look at them, you don't expect that to be 40 grand. Yeah. So that's why some of those, they're telling me some of the prices on Richards. I was like, I want one of those bitches, dude. They're <laughs> sick. <laughs> this was actually- this was Steve's watch. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah we're old. Dude. What? What? That in the height of the market it was like a million dollars, nine ninety. Now it's a trading seven fifty. So that's considered frosted, right? Frosted, frosted yellow. Uh, you know what I mean? Perfectly matched gradient sapphire rainbow. No. Open. Those that's they come factory that frosted, frosted, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, well, AP insane, actually you know? is the only watch brand that can make the frosted because they bought the machine yeah. Yeah. that makes the frosted, and they're the only ones that have it. <laughs> Right. Yeah, take this thing off me, bro. I might buy it. That's okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's, inspir it's inspiration, you know? That's it. That's what we work hard for, right? And it's how yeah, you come, you get inspired, and you get back to work. Like my dad, growing up, I was, I was honestly handed a lot of things. And like, but I got to the point where I was independent on most things. Dude. So it's like with this, it feels good. I want to give this back to him because he helped me kind of get to where I'm at now. So you got to pay it back, dude, for sure. A lot of things he's helped me make a lot of money. So I could pay it back. Yeah, I'm like, dude, I am for sure, dude. Sometimes I take it for granted, but it doesn't look like it, bro. You just came and bought your dad a brand new Cuban, so it looks know, like you dude. appreciate him a lot. And yeah. uh, yeah. you've done a lot more than a lot of people do, and I think that a big problem with the younger generation now is not caring and feeling for their parents. Oh, well, dude, for sure, dude. Like, if I, I, mean, if I could I, retire my dad, I would do it. I see, I I see crazy I stuff going on inside you, bro. Yeah, to see that is, is, is really incredible. You should be very proud of yourself because that's a huge accomplishment. Not just for your dad, but for you. To be able to do that is, is incredible. I know, dude. I told some, some people, they're like, what? Why would you do that? You gave me a gift card. Or I'm like, well, you know, it's not about that. It's yeah. about showing appreciation to you growing up. He gave me a lot of things. Like, he went with, he went without so many things to give us what we want. Like growing up, dude, he would, he would go without so much. Just to make sure we were all happy growing up because he didn't grow up like that. He grew up the opposite. He grew up like getting nothing, nothing like that. He grew up from nothing and he built a crazy business. And he, he's giving it, like making, letting us work for it and everything like that. And eventually wants to give it to us, dude. So to even That's the show, right way to do it. To even to be able to be in my position, bro, like it's crazy. Like I, I, I didn't come from nothing, you know what I mean? Amazing, bro. He, he sacrificed so much to give us that shit, dude. It's crazy, dude. Yeah, he's a, he's a I good, feel that. good, like, hard dude, bro. Like, he'll, he'll, he'll take his shirt off his back just for you. That's, That's hard to find these days, dude. It's 100 very, bro. very, very tough. It's even harder to find that child that appreciates how hard their parents work. So the kids don't appreciate dude, that. Know. They don't know. They don't know yeah, what dude, it's like. like. Growing up, like, we didn't know, like, what he was doing, bro. And he would tell us as we got older before we can really realize what he was doing. And I was like, dude, it's insane. Like, he would do so much for us. It's insane, dude. Sorry, bro. I keep looking down because the Cubans like. I, 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 forgot, I forgot my sunglasses today, bro. That's just weird, bro. I forgot my sunglasses. I'm getting my glare, bro. Glare, my eyes are glued to that thing. But yeah, man. That's that's honestly it's a, it's crazy and super inspirational to be honest. Yeah, honestly, the fact that we're here and the whole way here, we're like, dude, what the fuck? We were really going to do this because it came last minute. We were gonna come like the week before his birthday. I'm like, how am I gonna hold this in my fucking room without telling him? Like, that's insane. When is his birthday? The 19th. So it's a little, yeah, it's a little wild. Yeah. Who, who wants to take an over under bet that you're not going to make it all the way to the first night? Nah, I think I'll bet you a Richard. Dude. <laughs> 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 uh, my brother, he's always connected no, to the, the no, TVs through his phone. Right. He's always going on YouTube. They're always watching some crazy shit on YouTube. So I was going to like get him in on it. Like we're all sitting around the couch or something, like having a party or something like that. And it was 50th birthday and Devin's just cruising through and like puts on a video and he's like, what the fuck? And then I come out with a chain or something like that. I don't know. Yeah. He's gonna be like the thumbnail on the YouTube, and then essentially like he'll see the thumbnail, be like, oh, what's that? Click on it, and then you'll see like him coming in here buying the chain, and then you can give it to him. That would be pretty crazy. Cause I honestly thought like, you guys wouldn't reply. If I'm being honest, so I put like I just like, dude, I want to go. I want a diamond Cuban. I got 25 grand. So I was like, I got I got an email back like the next day. Yeah. He, he's like, gave me your number or something like that, I think. And I was like, dude, yeah. so easy, bro. It's so smooth. Everyone else was like come get it, like come, like dude, what is it? Just come look at it. 
I'll go above and beyond. And then like, you also know like you're good for life on like something happens, something yeah. breaks. I got you always, you know Dude, what I mean? Has that seen like some, some chains, like the diamonds fall and shit like that? It's common when he, if he's gonna wear it a lot, don't be surprised if it does happen. Yeah. Um, and if it does happen, dude, it's a 30 minute fix. 30 minute fix. Literally, yeah. You can always, what's called re rhodium it. Um, and that's basically just like, so if you see on the back of it, you can see the actual gold, like if you flip the back. Right, so yeah. as he wears it, as it, as it, maybe he wears another chain or oh, yeah, it, yeah, he yeah. puts it, he takes it off and puts it down, like it will scratch up. 30 minutes to get that fixed, an hour. Just yeah. get it I don't clean, think he'd be polished. Worried. I don't yeah. think he'd be worn that thing around every dude, day. And what's crazy bro, it sounds stupid. He doesn't even go out, dude. Like he goes to work, he comes home. Yeah, you have to always give back. You know? Then that's, that's what it is, dude. It's like, like I was telling him, I never really got him anything crazy. And I'm at the point in my life right now where I'm like, dude, like money comes and goes, bro. Like something like that's our life. You know yeah, I mean? and and you're also in the position you are in because of that, yeah. right? So dude, look, one hundred. Like without him doing same like motivating us, like us yeah. everything, I, was, I wouldn't be shit. Yeah. So without sure. him doing it, you gotta me. give it back. Same with me, and I think of that way, like with my two brothers and yeah. my dad. You know, so like. Like my two brothers are like my dad too. I look at them like my dad. No, it's crazy. He's always way. like, dude, he's trying to talk about buying land now. This is just how he is. This is how his mind works. He's like, yeah, but I'm not gonna live to see it. But when you guys are older, yeah, it's gonna be worth millions. I'm like, dude, he's over here trying to buy property for us in the future. He obviously wants himself, but he's always thinking about us in the future. Yeah, it's like you guys, you guys, you guys, you guys, me and my brother. I'm like, dude, sometimes I, I really fail to realize that, and I don't sit down and I'm like, dude, what do I gotta do for my dad? Yeah, you know what I mean? It's kind of I got so used to it sometimes, which is bad. But right now. I'm Taking it in, yeah. Yeah, dude, that's trying to give back. Like he knows my dad pretty good. He works with us, so he just, dude, like he said to me, give you your shirt off his back and good. So bro, one hundred percent good hard guy you could ever meet. Damn, I fired up, bro. I'm fired up. So right here, right, it's very simple. Push up, mm -hmm. and this just comes down. Oh, it's just like a clasp. Yeah, it's like you could see right here. It's like a clip, and then yeah, same yeah. thing. You go push here, and then down. Oh, that's light work. You go, dude. Uh, that's shit. Cool. Yeah. Dude. <laughs> dude, you're the fuck. That's my guy right here, dude. Got you. Oh, I'm telling you, the Richard, when I come back, buy it, dog. <laughs> I'm telling you, dude. Dude, this thing is forward. Well, you any last words for, for the camera? Honestly, I don't know. I'm speechless. All right, cool. I guess I'll, I'll hop in here. So, my boy Jacob came in here, called me like two months ago. We've been working on this Cuban for his dad. Dad, if you're watching, I'm excited for you. You have an amazing son. He's been working, he's been telling me how much he's excited to get this for you. You know he's always wanted it, so should be super grateful to have an amazing son. Yeah. And thanks so much for coming to TPT, That's man. Right. We appreciate you. Appreciate, appreciate the, business. the business. Yeah, likewise, man. So here you have it, another week's episode, another banger. As you saw, my client Jacob came in here and picked up that bust down Cuban for his dad. It's something that his dad has always wanted, so I can't wait to see that reaction video. Stay tuned for it next week. As always, make sure to smash that like button comment, let us know your feedback, and of course, subscribe, and we look forward to seeing you on next week's video.